and I can see you uh, dressed up like you're going to do, I don't know, karate, judo, Well, Mabel, fufu. this morning you can <laughs> see me dressed differently. I am definitely looking like uh, uh, appropriately uh, ready to say arigato, shishi. <laughs> <laughs> but this morning we are going to look at the art of karate and it's enjoying a lot of popularity across the uh, country it was developed more than a thousand years ago not just as an armed way of fighting but also a way to discipline your body and your mind coming up on everyday life Well, joining me this morning is uh, Karate Sensei, not teacher, not coach Sensei, Patrick Jefferson Oprong. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this Fine morning? Fine, Brian. You're very hard. Really? Yeah. You look harder than I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're very hard, man. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. How, how long have you been doing karate? Mm, over 13 years. 13 years? Yeah. That's a very long yeah, time. I started doing karate a long time ago mm. and uh, was uh, introduced to it by my father, who he was also a practitioner of karate. Wow. But initially, mm. I wasn't doing karate. I was doing an art called Apkido, professionally. Apkido. What's Apkido? It's, it's also an art like uh, karate, but it's a Korean art. Uh -huh. Yes, but I did a combat style of Apkido. Combat? Yes. And then um, after a certain time, I was introduced to karate again by some sensei. Mm -hmm. He's innocent. I don't know if you know him. You must be knowing him. I, mean, I think I know yeah. him. Yeah, okay, I know yeah, him. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, he introduced me to it when I joined some, some group of people. Mm -hmm. So when he introduced me to karate, it was good for me. It was easy, easier than Apkido. The basics were quite simple. Mm -hmm. Like I used to do those days, you know? <laughs> so when I remembered how I used to do it, and then I got back and compared it with Apkido, uh -huh. I looked like uh, I can take this art and also give it to others. Because Apkido totally, I cannot give anyhow. Right. No. Even I've never given to anybody, you know that. And right. I can't give it to somebody. Well, l l let's first start with the uniform. I am wearing a belt, yeah. a purple belt, and this shirt. Why, why these big shirts? Because I, I, I imagine karate needs a lot of movement. Yes. Why mm -hmm. this thing feels bulky? It feels bulky but flexible mm -hmm. and so open. Because if, let's say if I give you a tight stuff, like you're going to do aerobics. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know how people come for aerobics mm -hmm. classes. I've always mm -hmm. been in aerobics lessons and I see how people come in for it tight and... Um, it makes the body not to breathe. Right. But with karate, actually every martial art, mm -hmm. apart from maybe boxing, but if you try taekwondo, kung fu, mm -hmm. hapkido itself that I was telling you about, mm -hmm. you come to karate, they are all having the same kind of uniforms. They, they must the be they must free be, and, and they, have, they don't have to reach here. Right. No. Right. They always have to cut you. Uh -huh. Bleed, that's your own. But it right. has to be here. Right. And this must not reach here. It also has to be somewhere here. Okay. Yes. Simply because when it goes down and you step on it, when you're executing a move, you are definitely going to lose it. Oh, you so get that's it? the reason why. Yes. All right. That makes sense. And that's why we don't put it a balance. Eh? <laughs> and no, no, no. no. You it don't balance it. It can't be a balance. All right. It has to be put on the waist level <coughs> and smartly dressed. In it. So, so how, g g get us into some basic karate moves and uh, first of all, uh, of course later in the show you'll be telling us about, uh, you know, as I'm talking now I'm just feeling like, eh? <laughs> but get us some, some uh, basic karate moves. Okay, with karate, mm -hmm. <coughs> the things you always have to learn, there are mostly five things. Yeah. The first one is stance. Stance. How to stand mm -hmm. when you're going to do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay? You don't just stand. You don't just stand. Mm -hmm. And then another thing is how to punch. That's the second thing we always teach. Mm -hmm. uh, the next is how to block. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. You have to know. Those are the basics. Mm -hmm. And then the next is how to kick. Mm -hmm. I know you really, you're really very eager to kick. 
I, I, I don't know if I'm me. very fit, but I'll see. Uh -huh. Don't kick me, of course. <laughs> and then um, after the fall, you come to what they call application or what they call a committee. Mm -hmm. The combination of all those. Of kicking and boxing. And, and it's punching. We, we don't call uh, it boxing. It's punching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's punching, okay? All right. Kicking, punching, blocking, and all the stances. Okay. That is how it moves. Uh -huh. And then before you do all those, mm -hmm. you always have to remember karate or karate do. That's what I didn't explain to you in the beginning. Karate do. Karate is, it has its meaning. Mm -hmm. And then when it was modified in about 1905, mm -hmm. it came to karate do. Actually, it was initially called karate, mm -hmm. just empty hand. And then when they added do, do has a meaning. Mm -hmm. Let me, I'm just going to teach you some small karate. Mm -hmm. If you want to say empty, empty is kara. Kara. Yes. Uh -huh. What language is that this? That is Japanese. Okay. Yes. Te, O T E, mm -hmm. is hand. So it, empty hand. And then they added oh, okay. do, mm -hmm. that D O. Karate do. Karate do. Mm -hmm. That is, do means way off. You get me? So to complete it or combine it together, it is the way of the empty hand. That is it. Hey, Does empty you, hand you, mean you don't come with a gun, no, no, no weapon. knife, no <laughs> weapon? It's just no. a hand and... It's just a way of life. Right. Karate is just a way of life. Mm -hmm. Very peaceful. Right. But remember, before you do anything in karate, when you're starting karate, it starts with courtesy and ends with courtesy. Mm -hmm. Never forget with that. Uh -huh. What does that... What does courtesy, that mean? It, is, it has to start with a bow. Uh -huh. as a sign of respect and you leave or close it with a bow as just a sign of respect right so we are just, right now we are going i'm going to show you how to bow okay okay uh -huh. standing <laughs> in japanese is called risu risu yes mm -hmm. so when i say risu it means stand and bow mm -hmm. but when i say otagainiri that means you face me and how are you going to face me when you're here this is a yoi position. Yoi position. Yoi. Mm -hmm. Yoi stance. Ready stance. Yoi means get ready. Mm -hmm. All ready. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then when I say must be, mm -hmm. are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Must be means go to attention. And how do you go to attention? Then I say three, standing bow. You bow. Whenever you bow, you don't bow looking down. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look at your opponent. Look at your opponent. The other person. So you have to do. Now look at this brand. Mm -hmm. Look at me. If I'm bowing at you and I do this. I can beat you up. Beating me up or you just take me up I with just take you up. Yes. I lift you. Some people are just dangerous. Yeah, they are just dangerous. Uh -huh. When you play around, they, they will have to kick you. Okay. You come and do like this. Ding. <laughs> By the time he <laughs> lifts you, lift you up. All right. Uh -huh. So, so you are, I have to look at you. You have to do this. All right. Looking straight. In case I bring you, can in, of course do I anything. can block in any way. Okay. Yes. Right. Or oh, I can withdraw. Okay. Okay. So we are going to make it again. Mm -hmm. Yoi. Must be. Three. Three. Out again. You turn like this. When I say out again, you turn and you bow. I've already mentioned oh. re. When you hear re, re mm. means bow. Okay. In Japanese, re is bow. Right. So when they say ri, you turn and you face turn your opponent, and bow. then you bow. You have to look at them. Yes. All right. Okay. Now you're getting Japanese. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> School fees. <laughs> arigato, eh? arigato. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention chiche. Chiche is Chinese. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, arigato is okay. It's Japanese. All right. Yes. So when you say thank you very much, you say dom arigato. So karate is a Japanese. Discipline. Karate is a Japanese origin. All right. It actually started in. Uh, in early 80s, in some island called uh, Okinawa, mm -hmm. in Japan. Right. But that island, by the way, they, 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 they didn't want to come to Japan. Oh. Until they were, I'm not an, a historian. I don't know, how do they call when they bring you and you join the other ones? Assimilation. Is it assimilation? Mm. Like if Uganda wants to bring Kenya. They colonize them. I think so. 
Uh -huh. So they accepted to join. Yeah, them. but they were initially doing traditional martial arts. All right. Just for their own self-defense. Mm. Okay. Okay, so let's get into the action. Mm -hmm. So now, something I need you to know. Mm. That when you're starting a class, bow. And how do you bow? You first start from yoi. So whatever we're going to start with, with a bow. Okay, must be. Make sure here is a V. That is must be. That is also a stance by the brand. Mm. Must be dachi. It's called must be dachi. Mm. Yes. So you come. With three. Yoi. And then the basic stance I'm going to give you with today is a horse riding stance. Or basic stance called chiko dashi. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now from here, I want you to go one. Are you seeing this? Two. Okay? Three. Four. And then you go down with your chest out. Make sure your chest is always out and you're balancing properly. That here. I can't even sit here. Oh, uh, okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then from that position, you can execute anything. You can execute a kick, a block, a punch. Okay. I'm just going to show you how to punch. Mm -hmm. Okay? When you're in this position, put your right hand forward. And then when you're punching, make sure your hand twists. Okay? You look at this. Look at this. First bring it. Why do you twist it? Like, the direct punch is... You, oh, you... Okay, now I get it. You get it? All right, all right. <laughs> okay? Uh -huh. So you have to make sure you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yame. Yame means stop. Okay. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, now. Now, All I want right. to move for me two punches before we do anything else. Uh -huh. From moving a one punch, how do you move two punches now that you've known how to punch? Two punches at once or papa? Of course, papa. You can't right. move two punches. Like so, you, you're, you're you supposed go back to on your horse riding stance, uh -huh. which is Chico Dachi. Uh -huh. Okay? Your hand must be here. Put your right hand forward. Now, execute for me two punches. Come on, move. Good. Move. Move. Yame. Yame. Ah. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Now, so that's the punch. That is a punch. Okay. Now I'm going to also leave you with one block. Mm -hmm. A type of block. We have several of them. But for today, you're going to move what they call an uprising block. Or an upper block. It's called Jordan Uke. A block in Japanese is called Uke. Uke. Hey, but are you recording this? Are you, are you getting it in your I am head? getting it. Yeah. We will review quickly as we wrap this okay. up. And you see if I get it. <laughs> okay. A block is called Uke. Uke. A punch is called Zuki. Zuki. Yes. Uh -huh. So now we are going to do what they call Uke. And you are going to do Jordan Uke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is an uprising block. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you the basic stance is that one. The horse and Everything you are going to do is from there. From here. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now as we come here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll just first put this hand here. I see how mine is. Yeah. Bring this one here. Okay. And then one. Hey, look at oh, me. Oh, I have to bring this hand This here. one has to go back. Don't forget. Okay. So. Uh, no. Look at mine. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes. You know why we, we always emphasize that you block using this inner part of the hand? Uh-huh. It's because somebody can bring a log or a stick. Can you try to block that way? And i show you. Like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Just put it here. Ah, it has to twist like that. Now, if you're like this, mm -hmm. you're more safer. If because somebody brings this, you feel they on the muscle. Here. But when you do this, and the villager brings for you a stick, <laughs> you are going to get broken. <laughs> now, break the bone directly. Of course. Because okay. right. the bone that is makes here. Sense. That makes sense. So that is why you have to block it that way. Okay? But always remember when you're moving it, you bring one, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, as a basic. Okay. Uh -huh. And I have to move this. The one which has blocked mm -hmm. is the one you bring. 
So I do this. Exactly. And then you bring the other one. It blocks. Yeah. Then this one you put it. The one that has blocked. And then you bring the other one, which is behind. Block. After blocking, you put it. And then you go. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay. Yeah, by the way, you better block because I'm going to, give, to kick your head. <laughs> so you have to block your head. Okay. So I, this. Uh -huh. Remember. Mm -hmm. And then. One. Two. It has to pass outside the elbow, not inside. That arm has to pass outside the elbow. Like this? Like this. Ah, uh -huh. okay? Outside the elbow, remember? Don't block from inside. No. Okay? Try again. Try again. Good. You're a student. But now, after all that, the guy who founded this martial arts, I mean karate art. Mm -hmm. He says the essence of karate relies on katas. You know what a kata is? Yeah. A kata is a predetermined series of movements mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. practiced to help in uh, countering several opponents. Several opponents, and there are about 27 katas. Okay. So actually, before you get this belt, you see, each, the, each of these belts has a meaning. Before you reach this, mm -hmm. at least you have to be, you must have mastered at least, at least 10 cutters. All right. Yeah. By the so, way, some so sensei is dying without reaching 27 cutters. Because by the time you reach 27. It's Yeah. By the time you reach 27 cutters. So cutters, how many do you have now? How many? I can move up to 18. 18. Mm. Oh, very, very good. Yeah. So let's let's kick because you know because of time okay. let, let's get some basic okay, now, kicking then uh, now another thing is the kick uh -huh. you're going to move a front kick mm -hmm. okay but wait you want to kick ah. me, <laughs> I hope you're not going to kick me bro <laughs> okay okay uh -huh. yo -oi. so I'm going to show you what they call barai barai yes that's another stance zenkusu dash mm -hmm. you're going to come look at this look at me uh huh one have you seen where my arm is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to bring your hand here. Simple. Don't, 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 uh, and you don't, uh, okay? <laughs> okay, just bring your hand here. One here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason why one is here. Mm -hmm. Now, this is another basic stance for kicking. Mm. So, whenever you're going to kick, your leg moves with your arm. I think this leg is forward. This hand is, up, is forward. Yeah. So, we are going to move like three kicks first. Mm -hmm. As we move the arms also. Look at this. One. Okay? Okay? Two. Just lift your knee first before you kick. Okay? Okay? Three. And then can you go back? One. Oh. Ah, so you're not kicking keep with the other one. This. Yes. Now you're retreating. Two. Okay? Three. Okay? We are back to the position where we were. Mm. So now let me show you how you do a front kick. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Now you come. One. Two. Three. Hey, lift that oh, leg Oh, you lift that and yes. you go back. One. Two. And you go back. Three. Yours is a snap. I don't need a snap. <laughs> what do you want? I need a push. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is what I need. Let me first show you what I need from you when, I, when I'm talking of a front kick. When you're here. Or oh, here. Okay? When I say I need a push or a front kick for pushing. <laughs> Sorry, your uniform is already... It's like a stamp. Yes. Okay. And then there, there's another one of a snap. This is good for women mostly. Mm. Against Aisha, men. Aisha. 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 Yeah. yeah. Against <laughs> men, eh? Uh-huh. It's called a groin kick. Mm-hmm. You know what a groin is? Yeah. Okay? That always works. No. All right. Now you come this way. Mm -hmm. One. And then you just snap where the thing is. Yeah. Hey. Okay? Come on. One. Hey. 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 Okay? All so right. can you kick my groin? Dude. Seriously. No. Just kick. Seriously. Ah. <laughs> okay? Stand there and show me. Stand there and face me and kick me. Let's see. Are you there? I have a feeling you're going to block me or something. 
But no. of course, that is what self defense is. <laughs> Don't break the leg. No, 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 I'm not going. You see? I need you to reach here. Okay? Move. Dude, your wife will kill me. Come on, move. Kick harder. Don't fear to get You're going away. to break my No, no, no seriously, I'm, I'm using a palm. I am really being sick. I'm just using here. a palm. Okay? Are you there? Move. I'm just showing because I'm going to do the same to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have to end the show. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, so let's just remind uh, the viewers quickly, uh, punch, kick, and then we'll, okay. we'll, we'll call okay. this. Okay, yoi. Chico, dash. Why your hand is here? Mine is here. Put your right hand forward. Single punch. Double punch. Three punches. Hey, man. You're, you're, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going for a block. Come on, move. Yeah. The other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Kicking. Snap. Okay. Are you ready? We go. Hey. Are you ready? You have to yell. Uh -huh. Are you ready? Move it. Hey. hey. Come on. Hey. hey. Move it. Hey. Move. Hey. Move. Yame. Now, I need to move a cutter before you close the show. <laughs> uh -huh. The essence of karate depends on cutter, uh -huh. predetermined movements. And with the cutter, where you start from is where you stop. Or is where you end. Yeah. That's mostly for the first six cutters. Mm -hmm. So let me just show you the basic cutter. Quickly. Quickly. You come here. Are you going to follow me? Because mm -hmm. we are going to move all around. Hey. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not. Remember, it's for opponents, uh -huh. not for one person. Are you ready? Uh -huh. So when you're going to move a cutter, you mention the name of the cutter you're going to move. Uh -huh. So the first cutter is called Heian Shodan. Uh -huh. So we go. Heian Shodan. You've forgotten. Heian Shodan. Okay. Uh -huh. But remember, every move that you make in karate, you have to start with a what? With the bow. Good. So we go must be. You bring the other leg to meet this one. Okay? Press three. Yo. Are you ready? We go. One. Hey. We punch two. Go back there three. Oh. Punch four. Okay. In the middle five. Ah, this is a very technical thing. It is the first basic. Uh huh. We move with the punch. One, two, and then you yell, hey, hey! and then see the white turn. One, with another punch, you turn with another punch, and then you get back. You punch, you punch, you punch, you pu turn around now with the punch, <laughs> turn this around, and then. Hey, hey! You get back where you started from. All right. Okay. And then you. Jeff, if people want to learn this stuff, where yeah. can they get? Where, where can they get you? I'm in several places. Uh huh. Mamojo Fitness Center is my art school. Uh -huh. In Kamocha, those who live in Ghetto <laughs> or next to Ghetto. <laughs> Mamoja Fitness. Mamojo. Center. Mamojo. Uh -huh. Yes. And then I'm also as uh, I'm also at Lex Gym, uh -huh. and along Mawanda Road, and. Um, which other places? I am going to find uh, a space at uh, the Paradise Fitness right. Center. At the Acacia Mall. Acacia Mall. Fantastic. Mm. Thank you so much for joining Welcome. us this morning. And uh, as uh, you conclude uh, uh, karate, it's always with. Not, not just like it that. It starts from here. It starts from here. Uh huh. Masubi. Otaganiri. Yes, that is good. And then, after bowing. You don't just go like that. You have to clap. Okay? Mm -hmm. When I say turn and face your opponent, when you're closing, up, clap and you go. Simple that was your karate lesson this morning. Make sure you stay with us. When we come back, we'll be talking more karate with Aisha, this time in football. Feels like it was that, you know. Jeff. Yo. Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> we'll you right said back. domo arigato. <laughs>
We'll be right back. Demo at Gato <laughs> means thank you very much. <laughs> okay, bro. You're watching Morning at NTV with Simon Cassiati, Mabel K.